Do you know about the five U.S. states that would be sacrificed in case of a world war? What? That's not a thing. Deterrence strategy is about making an attack irrational, not sacrificing territory. The United States government has chosen the states of Colorado, Wyoming, Nebraska, Montana, and North Dakota to be the sacrificial lambs if a nuclear war- No, that's not what they are. There are ICBM basing areas in sparsely populated regions like this, and hardened silos to survive near misses. This is about dispersal and defense in depth, which are key principles used in nuclear power plants. That's why all the emergency diesel generators aren't in the same building. Or breaks out. But why these five states? Well, during the Cold War era, the U.S. grew increasingly concerned about Russia amid the nuclear arms race. And first strike instability. They feared that Russia wouldn't hesitate to use nuclear weapons on major U.S. cities. To Cities are not the primary target. Primary targets are going to be ICBM silos, command and control areas, strategic bomber bases, and submarine infrastructure. In other words, where the nuclear weapons are. Cities are deterrence targets. To safeguard these populated areas, the government came up with a strategic plan. They moved all the ICBM nukes to the newly built missile silos in the center plains of these five states. So, it had low population density, but also geologic stability. So some of the same reasons why we pick certain spots to put nuclear power plants. Not to mention it was a central location for flight geometry. This decision would ultimately force the Russians or any other enemy to target these silos first to stop the U.S. from retaliating. Okay, yeah. Silos would be a first strike target. And would also allow the U.S. sufficient time to counter any incoming missiles mid-air. Mid -air. No, ICBMs do not enable mid-air interception. The deterrence is based on retaliation, not the ability to shoot those things down. If missile defense actually worked that way at scale, well, deterrence would collapse. 